All right, I'm just going to say shalom to everyone. Um, I'm going to make a real quick video. I was just listening, you know, skimming through the radio and ran into this song <laughs> talking about um, I believe in baby Jesus or Christ or something. Uh, and I got this eggnog ready. Like, what? I know I ran into some parts of the, the, the to the song, but I'm like, what the heck does eggnog got to do with baby Jesus? <laughs> I mean, sometimes I think I make these videos, you know, because I'm on my way to, I'm just sitting here, you know, I want to go in too early. And I'm just sitting here thinking, first, my first thought was, that got to be the dumbest song I ever heard in my life. Okay. So the the second thought was. Our people got to be the dumbest people on earth. Some of them. Okay. And that's the reason why they can take advantage of us, man. You making songs. Dealing with eggnog. And baby Jesus. <laughs> And I, I laugh out of frustration, you know what I'm saying? Because that's the only thing I can do is, you know, I, those of you brothers and sisters that's new to the to the to the truth, y'all push the information, man. I'm I'm done, man. Like I got enough videos in regards to this stuff to the point where it's like, there again, it's going to be two thirds of our people is going to die. There were parts of uh, on on Christ's journey, where he didn't even just he didn't even go to the cities. It was so much evil to the point where there was no purpose. So sometimes I think what we got to realize is, once you speak to a person about the understanding of the truth uh, about Christ, the true understanding of Christ, the true understanding in the history of Christmas and all these other holidays and people still follow it, then you know, you just wipe the dust off your feet, man. I mean, you can still be nice to these people, you know what I'm saying? You can still try to, you know, show them respect. But, you know, in the back of your head, you're like, man, what are you doing? Like, you got the most evil people or sinners that just continue to sin and think it's okay to sin and they'll be putting up a Christmas tree talking about baby Jesus and all that <laughs> you know he was born in a manger and you know and oh, okay cool that's let me tell you that's a blessing okay a star was seen in the east and things of that nature so we understand I understand the importance of it but he never said put up a day you know why and you don't read this in scripture nowhere so where does it where does it come from and you you're going to find out that christmas and all these other pagan holidays got evil origins are you people are, are people listening it has evil origin okay evil origins that's it you can't make something evil good there's no way you can do that you cannot make something have an evil, evil origin good all you're doing is condoning to the evil in some type of way well I just do it for my kids I just want to put up a tree because the kids the kids how when when did kids ever lead the family or rule over truth because they crying or whatever well let them cry you're mean, yes. <laughs> Not me. you're supposed to be stern. You let these kids cry then, just because of some Christmas tree and some some stupid presents, and all this stuff got an evil origin. What's up? Think about it. They lead you, and then that's the reason why they can get off in school and and and, and you know think they can get away with running their mouth and all that. So we got to be very careful with a lot, you know, oh, my kids, oh, I want a Christmas tree. Oh, I want some presents. And you're up there letting these kids run your life 
And then there you have it. So they gonna do that when they get older. Uh, uh, I'm gonna be bad. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just smoke my life away. I'm gonna do drugs to, to, to get attention because there's no foundation. So they do this for attention. A lot of people do things for attention because they was never, they were never brought up to the point where they supposed to know, you know, from right from wrong. And then, you know, a, a lot of so-called parents do not stay grounded into, you know, and with, you know, stay grounded to what they're saying to their kids. Like, if okay, you say something to them, boom, I want you to do this. And then they, ah, oh, okay, I got, nah. You cry over some, some presents, then you cry over some presents. Then then you'll understand when you get older. Even I had a, even when I was growing up, um, my father didn't even con condone the certain things about Christmas. And I was, I thought he was mean and, you know, just stubborn. But now I understand. You know, he understood certain things about Christmas that was off, even though he may not have total understanding in the history. But that's what the fruits are for. That's what <laughs> reprocreation is for. So his seed <laughs> will show the truth about Christmas. And I have videos, and I may go into a video in regards to it again for the last time. I always say the last time, but I always, you know, like I said, I, I have soft spots for my, for my people. I love, I love right, I love righteousness, and I love people. You know what I'm saying? Especially the children of Israel. This is a stern, I'm sure, kind of rough around the edges video. But that's the only thing our people understand and want to gravitate to is someone bashing it in their head. Look, it's stupid. It's dumb. I mean, I have to actually say that in, in a way where if you're following, to be honest, I'm going to be real, okay? I know this may get thumbs down. If you're following Christmas, it is dumb, okay? If you know the history of Christmas and you still follow it, you're dumb, period. You're dumb. If you do the history on it, you're just, you're, you're dumb. That's why the scriptures say they all should become dumb dogs, man. I didn't say this. The scriptures say it. You should. Be, it's like our people, especially the children of Israel, they do not listen. They're following their, 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 the originators of all this madness. Understand. They understand what they're doing. They're making money off of you, off of your ignorance, Okay. Do the reverse of what society tell you, and then you, you're more than likely to be following the truth. <laughs> if they tell you the the moon is 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 blue, <laughs> think of the opposite color. If they say up is down, do the opposite. They tell you the opposite of everything. All right. They tell you that the that the Earth is rotating around the sun and the moon when it's the opposite. The Earth stays still. Spins with a gravitational pull in a like a top, and the and the sun and the moon rotates around the earth. These are angelic forces that does this, man. But they teach you the opposite. Live the devil is the opposite. I do this in various videos. I'm, I'm glad brothers, other brothers, is bringing it out because you know I put this out years ago in, in regards to how the words are code, coded. They even got a book called Codex Magica to go into certain information so you can see what they're dealing with. And then it, what it does, it goes to your subconscious mind and you all over the place thinking it's all right to deal with certain things. You're not knowing you're under a spell. Even with movies. What do they, what do they call actors and stars? Because that's what they call it. Ooh, this star is is going to be in this movie cast and crew casting what spells okay all right i'm done shalom